Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so I know you're, a lot of you guys are staying home because of what's going on with the coronavirus, but I want to make sure that you're still getting the workouts in, um, just like you would do if you were coming into classes. Now, this is what we're going to do. Obviously, you know that workouts are important. to help you boost the immune system. So let's just get to it. All right, so I'm going to bring you to a little warm-up. Uh, after I'll discuss what, the, what we're going to be doing for the workout, I'll show you the exercises. And, uh, and you're going to do those exercises, and we're going to kick your ass from here. So, yeah, let's have some fun. So we're going to start off with the, with the warm-up first. So like always, guys, we're going to start off with the neck. And I'm going to pack the shoulders down, move that chin forward. You know, I'm going to see my, how my neck is focusing from this side. I right, pull that chin in. Pull that chin in and lengthen up to the spine. Good stuff. Good. And what we do, move our head to this side. Take the opposite shoulder, pack it down. Move to the other side, pack it down. Pack it down, feel that stretch, nice. Make sure you're pulling that shoulder in the opposite direction. Exhale as you move, that's good. And that's good, nice. Let's keep the chest up. We're gonna lengthen the spine, tuck the chin in. So tuck it in, roll it down. Roll it up. Lift the chest as you go up. Roll it down. Roll it up. Tuck and roll it down. Okay, good. You and shoulder rolls. But remember these ones. We're gonna get the shoulders up. We want to bring them down. Shoulders up. Bring them down. Shoulders up. Bring them down. Feel the shoulder blades slide on the ribs. That looks like this. Slide on the ribs. Good. Okay, we're going to go the other way. Okay, we're going to reverse. Okay, get the movement, get the movement, get the movement. All right, good, awesome. Actually, we're going to do some arm circles. We're going to bring the arms up, bring all the way up, and then all the way back. Okay, all the way up, inhale, all the way back, exhale. You're going to loosen up that shoulder, get it activated, stretch it out. Okay, let's go the other way. Big circles, big circles, big circles. Oh, that's good. I'm not sure how many it is, but we'll go to the other side. One, two, wait, ten, three, four, five, big circles, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, one, open it up. Two, three, Four, five, guys, open up. Inhale, exhale. Eight, nine, ten, good. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to the gun slingers. Remember the focus with the gun slingers. We're gonna tilt. We're gonna round. We're gonna lock the elbows out. Exhale your breath, and then inhale, arch. So the whole focus is the spine. We tuck, exhale, inhale, tuck, exhale, tuck. Okay. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Yo, that's good. All right. So we've been doing the clasp hand forward fold. Remember, we're going to clasp the hand, lock up the elbows. Squeeze the shoulders, inhale, we're going to bend, forward fold, exhale, relax the head. You're going to stretch, go to the back of the leg. Notice that low back, and turn around a little back. Get it. Drop the hands down. We're going to go into a squat and stand, grab the toes, and drop the hips. You're going to pull the chest up. Pull the chest up. Okay, so chest up, chin up. Remember this one, we're going to keep the elbow on the inside of the knee. We're going to lift it up, open it up. Inhale, bring it back down. Do the other side. Inhale, bring it back down. We're going to shift our hips to the side. Remember, shift the hips to the stretch going to the back of the leg. 
Feel the stretch, go from the back of the leg. Come back up. We're going to balance on the toes. Good. Balance on the heels. Remember, we balance on the toes. Balance on the heels. Good. Let's do it again. Then forward. Drop the hips, chest up, chin up. Pull the chest up. Pack the shoulders, lift the chin. Good. Open it up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Shift to the side and stretch. I hope you guys are following along and not just watching me. You should be doing this too. So yeah, man, I did, I did the whole thing. Don't lie. I want to see you guys do the whole thing. Next. I'm going to clasp the hands. Next, no, we start, we start with the hips. So start moving those hips around, loosen those hips up. Loosen it. Not like this, by the way. Okay, other way, other way. Good. All right, good. We're going to go to the knees. So warm up the knees. Smaller circles. Work the way to bigger circles. Hold the knees together. All right, other way. Remember, we want to start with smaller circles first. Just warm it up the joint. Warm it up the joint. Bigger circles. Fantastic. Good. Uh, top hand. We're going to step into a lunge position. We're going to go down, drop the knee down. We're going to tilt the hips. So tilt. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so tilt. Bring, slide it forward. Inhale with the chest. Exhale and twist. I guess I should have checked my fly first. Okay, bring it forward, allow it to release in the rear leg. Inhale, exhale, twist. Do it one more time. Let it release. Inhale, exhale, twist. Feel that rear leg hip stretch. Switch that. Okay, so here, tuck the pelvis. Remember, when we're tucking the pelvis, we're tucking the pelvis, and we're sliding it forward. You see that rounding at the hip? You don't want to be here and stretching. You want to be here and stretching. So let it come forward. Inhale, exhale, twist. And notice when I come back, I can actually get forward a little bit more. My hip releases a bit. Inhale, exhale, twist. Come back, let it go. Last one. Oh, good stuff. All right, we're going to go to an upward downward dog. Push up position, hands relax the shoulders, push them back, make sure you tuck the pelvis back, drop the heels, high flex, shoulders back, low flex, up and down. Lift the chin, pack the shoulders, roll up over the toes. Follow the elbow with the head. 
the workout. So obviously this is at the uh, at home workout. This is the Fiery 400. This is the second week that we're doing this. So the idea with this workout is to do it as fast as possible. Okay, as fast as possible. So if we look at the look at the first exercise is squat jumps, 50 reps. The idea with this workout is to do all of the reps for that particular exercise before you move to the next exercise. So we have squat jumps, 50 reps, push-ups, 50 reps. Obviously, you can, you can see that. I don't have to go through each one. Um, but the, yeah, that's the idea. We want to finish uh, the, 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 all of the reps for that particular exercise before we move on to the next exercise. All right? So I'm going to demonstrate the, um, I'll demonstrate the exercises now. So squat jumps. So as you know, you know squat jumps is a, a plyometric exercise. The idea behind it is to work vertical. Um, it's a total body exercise. It's going to hit the legs, it's going to hit the glutes, it's going to feel it in the back, and you're going to feel it in the heart. Okay. So squat jumps. I I, I like this particular cut. You start at the bottom, you explosively go up. You use your hands to actually get a little of acceleration uh, with the jump. Okay, so you start at the bottom, exhale, 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 okay? So you're going to do 50 of those. Now, in, with most of these exercises, you're not going to be able to do the whole thing at once, so just remember that. Um, you're going to do, you can do 10 reps at once, do 10 reps. Take a, little, take a little break, grab a drink of water, and then continue going on until you complete the total of 50 reps. So that's your squat jumps. Some of you guys can do squat jumps because of your knees, I know that. So if your knees are bothering you because of the jump, some of you just do squats. Squat on the toes and do squats. And uh, finish your 50 reps like that. Because obviously you're still going to get a good workout um, and you're going to, this is not going to increase the risk and hurt yourself because you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Okay, cool. Uh, you're going to go to the bottom, go ahead and, and get that done. That should take you uh, anywhere from a minute and a half to two minutes. And uh, then we'll go to the next exercise. All right? So I'll let you guys uh, start that now. Go! How did it go? I hope you completed all of the repetitions. Remember, it's 50. Don't, don't stop halfway and then think, okay, yeah, I can just go on to the next exercise because I'm not watching. I'm watching. I can see you. Okay, so we're going to go with the push up. Push up, we work in the chest. It's very important that we pack the shoulders. We lead with the chest, not with the head. I'm going to show you what we're going to do, and then I'm going to show you what not to do. 
so, so regardless of your fitness level, if you're doing it off the toes, fantastic. There's always a standard to a push-up. If you're doing it off of the toes, you want to bring your chest down to at least the elbow height. If you can get all the way to the floor, get all the way to the floor. Get that full range of motion. So um, if not, if you can't do it off of the toes, then obviously do it off of the knees, and I'll give you, uh, I'll, I'll show you a couple ways you can do that. All right. So from a push-up position, put your hands in line with your shoulders. Pack your shoulders. So again, we want to keep the head up. Right? Because we're, we're, we want to work the chest. So if we're, we have our head in the way, we're not going to be able to get down all the way. And I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, sometimes think that you're doing a push-up, but in fact you're doing a head-up. And you remember this one, we're not, we're not doing head-ups, we're doing push-ups. So keep the head up, pack the shoulders, leave the chest. Okay, so take the breathing, exhale as you go down, inhale as you come up. Exhale, inhale. Okay. If off the toes is uh, tough, go onto the knees. So just from the toes, just drop down. Pack, leave the chest. Good. Get all the way to the floor. Great. If you can't get all the way to the floor, go to at least the elbow height. All right. Um, good. So now that's what you're going to do. You have 50, 50 repetitions of the push up. After you've done the push up, uh, come back. And uh, then we're going to go into the next exercise. So 50 push-ups, make it strong, breathe through all your reps, get the whole thing done before you start this next exercise. We'll see you, we'll see you. it should take you about anywhere from two minutes, two and a half minutes. For some of you, it might take you 60 seconds. Go for it, do it. Okay guys, now your push-ups. I hope you finish it all the reps before you came into the next exercise. So, uh, so the next exercise is the total body extension. We're doing it again, another 50 reps. Um, this is where we take our ass, we bring it to the grass. You guys know what that means. Okay, so I'll show you from the side. With the hands here, we're going to have your feet about shoulder width apart, toes out just slightly. And from here, we're going to drop the hips down, push the butt back, and drop into a squat. Ideally, we want to get our hips down as far as you can. If you cannot, that's fine. Get down as low as you can, touch the elbow, touch your bottom position. Okay, so if you notice, my, I have my back in extension here. So come down, drive up to the toes and reach. And down, squat, up to the toes and reach. Alright, that's from the side view. From the front view, sort of like this. So I'm trying to touch the knee, the elbow, touch uh, the knee, and then reach. Inhale. Exhale. So inhale, sorry, inhale, exhale. 50 reps, get it done. We're going to get into the next exercise. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, hopefully, you've pumped out the total 50 reps of your total body extension. You should be breathing hard right now. If you're not, you're not getting your ass deep enough into the squat. So, we're moving on to the next exercise mountain climbers. So, we're going to get in a plank position. Make sure you pack your shoulders, and basically the idea here from a plank position is bring your knee as far forward as you can. If you want to touch it, you can. Uh, the only reason why why you would is if your you know if your core is weak and uh, your and your hips drop down. So if you're going here, your hips are down like this. Just touch the floor with the foot. Okay. Mountain climber to the floor with the foot off the floor. Mountain climber. Keep the head up. Pack your shoulders and pump them out. This one you should be done in like 30 to 45 seconds. Easy. All right. Have fun. And we'll see you in a 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Max, go. All right, guys, welcome back. So 30 per leg. Remember, it wasn't 30 in total. 30 per leg is 60 in total. It shouldn't have taken that long. You should have, your heart rate should be up pretty good now. So we're going to go into the next exercise. It's a lunge jump, OK? Make sure you have patient breathing with the movement with this one. And remember, a lunge jump, we're getting our knee all the way to the floor before we come back. And again, if you have any knee issues or hip issues that can be exacerbated by doing these lunge jumps, just do a regular lunge or a split squat. So I'll show you that now. So from this position here, we want to keep the, the, the shoulders in line with our hips. And we come down. We come down, your left foot forward, right hand is up. What we're going to do is jump straight up and switch. Switch. Come down, lightly touch the knee, and back up. 
Our breathing is as we go down, we inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Right? So it's going to get to a point where you really, you're feeling your heart rate's going to be up. Make sure that you pace your breathing with the movement. And again, if you have any knee issues and stuff, just do regular lunges or just do split squats. All right? Go for it. Get it done. We're doing a total of 15 reps per side. Kill it. All right, guys. Welcome back. Your legs should be on fire right now. Um, if they're not, you weren't getting down deep enough, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go into the next exercise. This one is a rear delt fly. You, you know, not everybody has dumbbells, but I'm going to demonstrate with uh, two, two light dumbbells. Um, if you have soup cans, use soup cans. If you have uh, water bottles, you can use water bottles. Uh, or if you have your own weights, just use your own weights, obviously. Okay, so to keep this one here, we're going to get a hinge forward at the hip. Bring our upper body down at about parallel to the floor. We're going to put our shoulders into the pack. Slight bend in the elbow. We're going to inhale, exhale. Okay, now the idea is not to hold it up on top. And it is a tough position, but definitely drive it up. And remember to focus on the maximum contraction at the top. So you're, what you're contracting is the rear delt and the, the, the mid traps, okay, in between the shoulder blades. So that's where you put your focus. Again, make sure you pack your shoulders and, uh, and you pace your breathing with the movement. Engage your core. Draw the belly button in and try to maintain that neutral spine. So again, neutral spine is this. Okay, draw the belly button in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, make sure your shoulders go into the pack. All right, that's the exercise. Make sure that you, you get that full extension, the full range of motion, and have some fun. We'll see you in about 30, 30 reps. Have a good one. See you in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. You, get, you did your soup can or your, your dumbbell rear delt flies. You felt your rear delts fire up. Felt the mid back work. Um, good, we're done. Now we're going to go to the next exercise is a close grip push up. Now the focus here in the close grip push up is we're going to target it targets the mid chest. You're going to feel a lot of the triceps as well. So remember, you can do it off of the toes or you can do it off of the knees. Um, either one. Uh, either one is good, just make sure that you're getting a full range of motion as best you can, all right? So again, we're going to keep the hands on the inside of, of your shoulders. You're going to pack the shoulders and uh, get, push your feet, get your feet back into a plank position. So what we're going to do here is spread the fingers so you have good balance. And inhale, exhale as you go down, and back up. Inhale, exhale. Okay. okay, you're going to pump out 30 reps. So if you notice the angle of my truck, my elbows go out to the side and back up. So again, you can feed off of the toes uh, doing this exercise, or you can go onto the knees and do the exercise off of the knees. So off of the knees, all we're doing is just dropping the knees down, packing the shoulders, and again, trying to get the chest down as low as possible. Because the idea when you're working the, the chest is, uh, especially when we're focused on the mid-chest, or the center of the chest, I should say. At the top, you're pushing the, like you're pushing the floor together, squeeze in the chest itself. So feel that squeeze, um, and pack the shoulders when you go down. Inhale, exhale as you go up. Inhale, exhale. Okay, good luck, have fun. I think it's 50 reps. 30 reps. Oh, you're lucky. Have some fun, and we'll see you in 30 reps. Good luck. Kill it. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, so you just did your close grip push-ups. Your triceps are really be feeling it. Your shoulders might be feeling it, and your chest should be feeling it. Hi. So we're going to go to the next exercise. The next exercise is a hip hinge, balancing hip hinge. So the, the, there's balance involved with this one. Uh, the focus is basically your hamstrings, back of the legs, and the glutes, all right? So we start at a balanced position. 
Remember, when you do anything with balance, when you engage that core, when you engage the core, it really helps to uh, support that balance. So brace for the balance, brace for the balance. Draw the belly button in, engage the core. Lift the knee up, put about a 20 degree bend in the knee. 20 degrees is about that, all right? So 20 degree bend in the knee. We're going to reach with our opposite hand. So if you're left foot on the floor, we're going to reach with the right hand down towards the floor. Okay, and then come back up. Now we'll do it like, uh, like I have the balance. So we'll come down, touch, and back up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Go for it. You do one side, do the other side. Go. All right, guys, welcome back. So you just finished those one leg balancing hip hinges. Uh, your foot's probably cramped up a little bit. But remember the focus was in the back of the leg, the hamstrings and the glutes. Uh, so it's good work. The next one here is a uh, tricep, what is that? Plank and tricep extension. The focus is directly in the back of the arm. So what's important with this one, it's a little bit different than a close grip push-up. The, uh, the tricep push-up, again, where our elbows are going towards our bodies as opposed to away from our bodies. Okay, so it's directly focusing on the tricep. So again, we'll put our hands, uh, this time in line with the shoulders, step back into a plank position. We're going to take the shoulders and pack the, pack the shoulders, because uh, again, with packing the shoulders, of course, stability. And from here, the idea is to get a nice full bend in that elbow. So when we come down, we're getting that full bend, and then coming back up. Lock it out up on top. Now, I know my triceps are just huge. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> but they're strong. Okay, so pack, pack the shoulders, put a full bend in the elbow, and come back up. So we inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, and then if you can't do it off the toes, go to the knees. Just remember, so if I hold your toe and then drop onto the knees, that's going to be challenging. The closer I bring my knees to my hands, the, the less challenging it'll be. So if I bring my knees in here, it's going to be less challenging. But the idea is to work, uh, we don't want to work at a level that we can easily crank out 20 reps with. We actually want to work at a level where maybe we have to take a break after five or six reps. So keep that in mind, um, and we'll see you in about 20 repetitions. Kill it. All right, guys. Um, so you have finished your plank and triceps. They should be on fire. Your shoulders should be toasted by now because we've done a lot of it. The um, last one is your um, Cobra Floor T or Floor Y Cobra. So basically what we're going to do, so if you notice my ankles, I'm going to flex them and I'm going to lock all my knees and then I'm going to lift through the glutes. I'm going to lift through the glutes. I'm going to tuck the chin. I'm going to get that extension of my upper back, pack the shoulders, and I'm just going to come up and fly. I'm going to spread your wings and fly. Okay, it doesn't have to be fast. So if this is easy, you can bring your arms out into a Y and then bring it up. But you're always bringing it into pack. Keep the chin in. Okay? Finish off with that, and then you're done your workout. Kill it. I bet you thought we were finished. This is the next part that we're doing right here. We have two to three rounds. I'm going to show you on the floor. Let's go. All right, guys. You finished your workout. This is the finisher. Uh, you're out of breath, so you've taken a little break, you got some water, you've recovered a little bit, but we're going to finish off with some core work. Um, so we have three exercises that we're going to do. We're going to do three rounds. If, you know, if you're new to this, you can do the two rounds, it's fine, but three rounds is the goal. Um, if this week it's not three rounds, next week, make it three rounds. So, so we've got three exercises. The first exercise we're going to do is a forearm plank oblique. And the, the focus is really to work all the deep core muscles, plus really target the oblique muscles that are on the side. 
Now, if you ever seen the oblique muscles on the side, they kind of like, they fan in here. And the reason why they fan is because they sweep, they bring the hip and the ribs closer together. So, it's called the forearm plank oblique. All right, so it looks like this. We're gonna get into a plank position. Uh, we're gonna pack the shoulders. And so you just notice like my, my shoulder blades are actually pulled apart. So they're pulled apart. So I'm not resting down here. I'm I'm up here. I'm actually engaged my core, and this is your start position. What we're doing, we're bringing our knee towards our elbow, and then back, and then we do the other side. Knee towards your elbow, and then back. We're going to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. It's up to you if you want to do 10 in a row, and then switch, go to the other side. Uh, or you can do one, one side, next side, one side, next side. Uh, the other option here, if you don't have that core strength yet, then you can drop from the, from the toes onto the elbows, the same thing applies, pack the shoulders, get a little bit of a round in the upper back, um, and so you'll feel all of this engaged here. So from here, do the same thing. Boom, back, back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Kill it. Do 10 reps on one side, 10 reps on the other side, and then come back and then get to the next exercise. Okay, welcome back, guys. So you did the forearm plank complete. It's challenging enough. We're going to go into a side plank. Uh, so the side plank, of course, is still working the core. We're just working it from a different angle. So what you're going to do, you're going to get onto the elbow and stack the feet up on top of one another. Lift the body up to the floor and then stack the shoulders up on top of one another and pack the shoulders. So from here, we want to get our head in a position. It's like a good postural position, as if we were standing up straight. So here, we're working the core, draw the belly button and keep it engaged. And from here, just hold the plank for 15 seconds. Count 1,001, 1,002. And if you want a little bit of an additional challenge, you can lift the leg and you can count for 1,001, 1,002. And keep on going until you finish the count. Put the leg down, switch side. And then go to the other side. Okay? Stack and pack the shoulders. Keep the head in a good postural position. And hold the plank for a count of 15. Again, you can have it into a hip abduction and hold it here. So you have your arm up here. Once you're done, the phone drop down. Okay. If that's too challenging, we can do a modified version. So instead of being off of the toes, go onto the knees. We call this shortening the lever. So uh, stack and pack the shoulders, and in a good postural position. And you can still do like clams, like clams, with the legs. You want to work those glutes, you want to work the hips. Okay, so that's up to you. Go for it. 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other side. Come back and we'll do the next one. Challenging, wasn't it? All right, we're not done yet. This is the, um, um, this is the cobra hold. So a cobra hold, the focus here is to basically engage all of the posterior muscles or the back muscles uh, with the focus on strengthening the postural muscles, okay? So from here, we're going to flex the feet. Flex the feet again, lock the knees out, lift up through the glutes. Okay, you're going to bring your back into extension, pack the shoulders, and bring your hands to the side. Again, pack, thumbs up, palms out. Keep the chin in. Put your focus in the upper back. Hold. 1,001, 1,002, or if you've got a watch or a stopwatch, count 30 seconds. So I'm done, and that's it. You're going to do three rounds. Once you've done three rounds, we're going to go through uh, a few stretches, and then that's it, guys. Kill it. All right, guys. You've done your three rounds. You should be out of breath, sweating. Your underwear is soaked. Everything is wet. You should be sweating by now. That was a tough workout. And congratulations. Congratulations, you have finished the workout. Oh, well done. So the next part, guys, do not skip this. You know, after each workout we do, it's compensation. So these are the basic stretches that we have post-workout. Uh, hold each one for at least 30 seconds. I'll just go through it real quick. Um, I'll show you it. And then, again, stick it for anywhere from 30, to, uh, 30 seconds to 60 seconds per side if there's two sides. Um, if if uh, optimal time under stretching is, uh, is 60 seconds, you're going to get the most benefit out of 30 seconds. So let's go through it. So remember the idea of compensation is we're opening up the body so when you've done your workout, you just ain't broken. So we're gonna 
you're opening up the chest, we're opening up the hips, and that way when you're, you know, you go on for the rest of your day, you're, you're, you're doing so already have compensated for the, the damage you just did to your body, or the benefits you just did to your body. Okay. So, uh, class and forward fold. That's, that one we just did in the, in the warm up, but I'll demonstrate it again. The focus here is to open up the shoulders. Uh, even the biceps get targeted with this one, but it, this is what we call a big bang stretch. All these stretches are big bang stretches. Uh, so we open up the chest, it's stretching out your chest, the little tiny muscles in the chest, pec, pec minor, pec major, um, stretching out your biceps. Okay. From here, we're forward fold with the slight bend in the knees, so we're going to hit the back of the legs, we're going to hit the low back, okay, and relax the head down. Okay, so from here, think about packing your shoulders and then trying to get your arm into a vertical position. You can rest your torso on your thigh. Okay? So hold this, again, this one here, anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds, is this one particular. After you're done, relax your arm down, just slowly roll up to the low back, to the mid back, to the upper back, to the neck, to the head. Ah. Okay, next one. Kneeling forward lunge with a back bend and side bend. So the focus here is, again, opening up the hips, opening up the shoulders. So you're going to get in a, uh, we call it a modified lunge position. So here, slide head forward, just like we did in the warm up, but we're going to clasp the hands. Bring the hands up, clasp the head, and stick your hips forward. And so if you notice what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to back bend. But if you see the angle going from the knee to the hip, it's kind of it's like a bow. Or like a, sorry, like a, it's like a, like a, kind of like a C. Okay, so you go back, uh, inhale, you go back, and then come back to the center. And then we're going to do a side bend. So if your right foot back, we're going to side bend to the left. You can clasp the head, inhale, draw the belly button in if you want to support the spine, and side bend. Bring it back, hold the stretch anywhere from uh, two to three breaths uh, in the back bend, two to three breaths in the side bend. Another additional uh, stretch you can do with this, or you do the side bend, you can come down, sit back, go forward, grab the toe, and then Bring the head in and the stretch. So if you check out the foot, I push the foot, I can help myself into that stretch. Help okay. myself into the stretch, feel your stretch through the back of the legs, my calf. Alright. And then you come back up and you do it again. Do a back bend. Three, two, one. Come back. Side bend. Three, two, one. And four, four. Alright, so do that stretch again. Just do it a couple of times to the side. And we're going to go to the next one. If you need to pause me, pause me. And back. Good. Okay, so you did it. Pigeon stretch. The focus here is stretching up the glutes, the hips, uh, the hip rotators. Okay, so from here, I personally, personally like to hold my foot in position. Because if you're tight, it's just going to slide back in. So I like to hold my foot in position, um, square off my hips, square off my shoulders. Okay? And the idea is to bring my front leg, butt cheek down towards the ground. Okay? And I like to stay up on top until my, my hips touch the ground. As soon as my hips touch the ground, not yet, because I'm still a little bit cold, but like if I'm warm, this is going to go down. So now my butt's touching. Now from here, I can, I can sit here and I can hold this stretch, or I can uh, cross my arms and just forward fold all the way over and hold that for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. Again, 30 seconds you're going to get the, uh, the maximum benefit, but I, ideally if you can hold it for 60 seconds per side, you're going to get a much better stretch. Alright, so you can do one side and you do the next side, and uh, next one is a camel or a floor bow. First thing I think of the floor bow, uh, hits exactly what we need to. The way this goes, we're going to get up to the floor, okay, we're going to grab the ankles, and we're going to bow our body. We take a nice deep breath in, inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to push our feet away from, uh, away from you, and you're going to bow the body looking up. Okay. What I'm trying to do here is see, you see my elbow pits? 
the more I turn out, the more stretch I'm going to feel in the shoulders. I hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and I'm going to come down, and now I'm going to pull my feet towards me. Okay? Now I've got a nice stretch going through my thighs, and ideally, if I can lift my thighs off of the floor, I'm going to get a stretch going through the hip and the thigh. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and I come back, inhale, exhale. Okay, five seconds, come down, pull it towards you, bring the off of the floor, bring the knees off the floor. Good. And after that, you can reset the spine by going back into a child pose. And then you're done. And uh, upward, downward dog. All we're doing with that one is basically to restore the mobility back into the shoulders, especially if well, we did a lot of chest uh, today, we did a lot of shoulders today because of all the push-ups. So we're just doing the movement to get the mobility back in the shoulders. So a downward dog, you decide we did a push-up position, push it back, drop the heels, pull the chest towards the leg. So from here you can play with the shoulder. Get that stretch. Okay, again, holding anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. And then upward dog, pack the shoulders, allow the hips to come down. Okay, and keep the shoulders packed, chin up. Again, this is uh, opening up the whole front line from the chin all the way to the pubic bone. Hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. You guys have done your workout. If you got a foam roller, grab a foam roller. Do some rolls on the thighs, do some on the side of the, the, side of the legs. Uh, and especially if you know, if you know that your, your, your knees typically get tight and sore. We did a lot of lunges today, a lot of squats, so they will be sore. So we don't want that, we don't want that, um, that compression pain in the knees. So grab the, grab the foam roller, roll up the thighs, anywhere from 10 to 15 rolls per thigh. 10 to 15 rolls per IT band, remember from the hips going all the way to the knees. Alright, nice work today guys, uh, you, you earned your next meal. Um, if you want to get, get some protein in you, you know, you have a little protein shake, uh, drink some water, again make sure you guys are getting all the water that you need, especially for the workout, and we'll see you on the next workout. Get some.